The last color in the rainbow spectrum is violet, often referred to as purple. In the military, a Purple Heart Award is given to a fallen soldier or a wounded soldier who shows bravery in battle. In our next story, we have a hero, Larry McCarrigan, secret librarian, who dodges danger to save the world's books. Being a librarian isn't as safe as it may seem. Trust me, I know. <laughs> Dr. Glockenspiel has escaped from the cell at the Depository for the Criminally Naughty. From a secret lair in an Arctic iceberg, he makes his demand. I want one billion trillion dollars, or my army of giant moss will eat the world's books. The world sends their best secret agents. Dr. Glockenspiel sends his best henchman to capture him. Good evening. Welcome to HSB. Today in world news, the devious Dr. Glockenspiel has ex escaped and, and is planning to rid the world of all books. With Dr. Glockenspiel on the loose and threatening to destroy our books, where can we turn for help? Who loves books so much that she would risk her life to save them? Lyric McKeerigan, secret librarian. Every corridor in the iceberg is watched by security cameras. just the right book in her toolbox. Dang it, I wish we could escape the cell. But how can we? We don't have a key. Look, the jailer is here with their daily gruel. So hungry, I could eat a horse. Toast and oats? What's this? How to pick locks? Wait, what? Guys, this is how we escape. Secret Agent 3. Did you get a lock in there? Guys, I found it. It's a pick. No way! No way. Guys, let's get out of here! Yeah. Come on! But who was the jailer? Who served up just the right book at the right time? The secret agents surround Dr. Dr. Glockenspiel. Put your hands up. Attack them, or I'll shoot you up by your nose hairs. You can't shoot us up by anything. Plus, you owe us a bunch of dough. We're going on strike. Now, 
Then I show up my revenge. I shall destroy every book in the world. Oh my god! I'm scared! Fly, my princess, fly! <laughs> But then, someone shines a flashlight into the book. The moths love flashlights. Story time! Moths like stories even better than Once upon a time, there was a hungry moth. He ate a book. It tasted okay. Then he tried some nice wool clothes, and they tasted fantastic. Yes, sir. Nothing like thick, heavy wool to satisfy my hungry tummy. Sweaters are my favorite. I can taste it now. Dr. Glockenspiel looks at the moths. The moths look at Dr. Glockenspiel. Doesn't get far. Ah! Oh, no. And now that his plans, like his clothes, are in tatters, who files him away in the depository for the criminally naughty? Who saved the world today? Who will save the world again tomorrow? Who is everyone's hero? Lyric McCurrigan, Secret Librarian. First you, Lyric McCurrigan, Secret Librarian! Dr. Glockenspiel looks at the moths. The moths look at Dr. Glockenspiel.